Hey, welcome back to this week's Southwest Florida housing market update. It looks like the condo market may be in trouble in both Lee and Collier County, but there is still a glimmer of hope. So let's dive into the stats that just got released over the last couple of days. So as you can see, we've been going back and forth with the condo prices here in uh, Lee County, 325 to 351. Now it's down to 310. The trend is downward for prices. We're down almost 12% just week over week, down 6.3% from the same time last year, but it's not quite as big as this next one. So this is closed sales for condos. And you can see we had from just from last week, one went from 150 to 80. That's down almost 47% down in one week, which is a huge drop off. It's one of the largest drop offs we've seen since uh, last year around July. This has two weeks now in a row where we've seen a pretty significant decline. And that's really indicating to me that the condo market's having troubles, whether that's because of interest rates, because of the HOA fees and assessments that have been going on with condos or the insurance issues. It's hard to tell. We are, however, seeing a little bit of a leveling off in the number of homes that are going under contract with new pending sales here. You can see we've been kind of seesawing back and forth with it leveling out. That could be a good sign that we're returning to norms as far as homes getting listed and going under contract at the same time. Right in line with the pending sales, though, we also have active inventory now starting to level out. As we've seen over the last couple of weeks, it's slowly been decreasing. But now that it's starting to level out, that could also be a red flag because with less closed sales happening, over the last 30 to 45 days and active inventory starting to level out, new pending sales down, that could mean lower prices in the near future for condos in Southwest Florida. And in combination with closed sales down, active inventory and new pending sales kind of stagnating and leveling off, we now have new listings actually starting to increase again in the condo market. It has been making lower lows up until the last two weeks. Um, last week, it went up quite a bit drastically and it's still climbing. We'll have to keep an eye on this trend because if this trend continues up and the other trends continue to level out, um, that means that we're gonna be seeing prices coming down in condos. Now, as we take a look at Collier County median sales prices. It's really starting to level out here. It was on an upward trend making higher highs, but that has now declined and continued to decline over the last several weeks. Um, we're going all the way back to 3.9. So over a month ago, pretty much ever since it's been declining pretty consistently. Not quite as drastic in Collier County, but closed sales are also down 21%, which is half of what it was in Lee County. So it's still a little bit of a stronger market here. You can see the trend is still upward though. This really just cut that um, upward trend in half over the last two weeks. Also in line with Lee County, Collier County is seeing new pending sales drop off quite a bit. There hasn't been a pickup since uh, about a month ago. Every week has shown that the new pending sales have been down week over week. In addition to that, unlike Lee County, Collier County is actually starting to see active inventory pick up. So last week we we're at 30,072. This week we're at 3106. So that is not a good sign for Collier County's condo market. This is going to be showing downward pressure on prices. In addition to that, same as Lee County, new listings are up week over week. And that's been for the last two weeks. That's going to mean that prices are coming down. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning, there is still a glimmer of hope for the condo market. Those trends are starting to level out. Now we're going to need to pay attention to which way the trends continue to head. If those leveling outs start to actually decline, where we're talking about closed sales and pending sales, if those start to decline, we're going to see probably condo prices come down even further. They have been decreasing since last year in both Lee and Collier County. However, um, with the amount that they have gone up, it's not surprising to see that a lot of people are okay sitting for a lot longer period of time with the amount of equity that they have in those homes. So don't be surprised if you see a lot of stubborn sellers who aren't willing to drop their prices despite the market conditions that we're in right now. If you guys have questions about the condo market or just the market in general for Lee or Collier County, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. All my contact information is in the description. You can also scan the QR code here or just leave me a comment down below and I'm happy to get back to you guys and answer those questions. Thanks for watching guys. I hope to see you in the next video, but until then stay safe, stay positive, and more importantly, stay free.